what role do you think technology and digital platforms play in in this democratizing art and design? I mean, they're absolutely vital, right? They've they've opened up a way for all of us to create content and deliver content without needing a middleman. You know, for example, I use Xiao Hong Shu, right? And it's loads of fun. I do videos all the time and they go straight to my my fans. I don't have to rely on anybody. I've got my own editing on my phone. I can edit them. I can add subtitles. Don't need anybody. You know, and I've got oh. someone that helps me. Right? But, you know, she's um, now she sort of lets me do it, which is nice. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> technology enables you to do things on your own that you couldn't ever do before. You know, if you wanted to create a fashion brand or design products, you can do it. You can find factories. You can get things made. And then you can sell them. You can literally sell your own stuff online. You don't need anybody else. So it used to be that, for example, in fashion, if you wanted to be a fashion designer, you had to find a factory. You couldn't do that. You have to go to you know, New York or London or something. Then you had to design it. Then you had to find the fabric. Then you had to go someplace and, uh, and get it made. Then you had to find um, <clears throat> media, try and get coverage for it, and then try and get a store to come and buy it. And this is all physical interactions you had to have in different locations over a period of time. And New York was famous because all of it happened within a sort of 10 block radius, whereas everywhere else it was you know, all across the country or across the continent. So that used to be the case. Now it's not. Now you can do all of it using SF delivery and, and your phone, right? Everything mm. you can do. So uh, technology has enabled all manner of incredible opportunities. It doesn't make it, I mean, it, doesn't make it easy. It makes it easier, but it doesn't make it easy. And it shouldn't be easy. And everyone's got the same technology. So the competition is just as tough as it ever was. But the barriers that used to exist are now very different. You know what I think every artist and designers nowadays should do? They should mm. build their online presence. I, yeah. don't, I don't see many of us doing that. I don't know why. Is it because we're not taught in school? Or is it because they're not realized how important it is? Because if you want to be seen outside of school, yeah. you, you have to prepare and how to be seen outside of school. The thing is, right, Cecilia, that what, what I find intriguing is that the, there are certain pretty simple rules. And until you're brilliant, you need to follow them. Right. And if you're brilliant, you know, you, then you're OK. You can you can do whatever the hell you want. Don't worry. But until you are brilliant, you've got to follow them. And they are, you've got to be a good communicator. You've got to do everything brilliantly. You've got to have mm. some presence online so people can do what you do. Like, these are just basics. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm perplexed that people don't realize that. Now we're making this video to make them realize that. Okay, so I want to quickly summarize why it's important for them to utilize technology and digital, right? Mm -hmm. uh, first, you have to build your own online presence. This will be able to give you more control of, over how your design, your work is pre presented and consumed. Have your own website, you know, uh, yeah. get your own, I don't know, Xiao Hong Shu account in, in China. In overseas, probably build your LinkedIn account as what everyone's doing. Maybe go on the Facebook, Instagram and create your own work account, showcase your mm -hmm. work and just just make sure everyone sees what you want to do in the future. Yeah. And nowadays you have digital tools and platforms. Like all the tools, they will be able to give you aids to do your work. You can do like 3D modeling, digital illusions, anything. And it's very accessible and affordable. So do that. Mm -hmm. And then you have like crowdfunding platforms where you can fund your own project. If you have an ambitious project that you want to do, use that. You don't need to yeah. uh, complain about, oh, I don't have money to start doing this thing. You don't need to have money. Maybe just ask mm -hmm. people for it. <laughs> people will be yeah. willing to give it if you have a really good project. And then you have like a lot of e-commerce platforms where you can just sell your digital works. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm selling some of my digital works on my own website because I built my website and I'm building my own personal branding. So yeah, do that as well. And look for, look for the online marketplaces where you can sell your works. Yeah? yeah, these are the ways how technology will be able to help us in our future career.